Darren, first of all, starting with the game tomorrow, we're into the court finals stage now. The excitement must be building for what's been a good a good run in this trophy. Yeah, good so far. Um, really pleased to have this opportunity in the quarter final and obviously, you know, we've got a home tie which is which is pleasing for us. Our home form's been good. Um I've got a bunch of players that are desperate to play. Obviously there's been well documented frustrations lately with the weather and the pitch and that, so all being well when the game goes ahead, I've got a hungry group of players that are looking forward to getting out there. A team not to be underestimated in Hellzone who have beat been a couple of uh National League sides in their run so far. What are you expecting from them? I've seen a lot of footage. I've had people watch them of late. Um, they're a good side. They're on a very good run. Uh, doing very well in their league. Um, no chance of me ever disrespecting a, an opponent or underestimating an opponent. Um, throughout even my short time in charge here, we've been the favourite and the underdog. So <clears throat> I'm very aware of how the, the game can potentially play out from both sides. So, you know, we're, we're fully focused on how difficult the game is and, you know, we, we're fully prepared for it and looking forward to it. We head into this one off some decent form. Uh, how's the team preparation been going into this one? Like I say, it's probably... Frustration is probably the word at the minute because, you know, when the, when the team's in a, in a good place, which they are at the, minute, at the minute, they're all looking forward to their football. You, can, you, you just get that feel around the, the camp in training. Um, the mood's been good the intensity in training's been good um, and they want to play and there's it, it's nothing more pleasing as a, as a manager than having a group of players that are desperate to play um, so the mood's been great and we're just chomping at the bit to get back on the grass and, and play as much football as we can and a bit of a blow for us Paul McCallum's unavailable having been cup tied but as you say there are plenty of options up there that could be a real threat for us tomorrow. Listen, it, it, it is a blow because, you know, I feel for Paul, he's come through the door, he's, he's had his impact that he's had with his goals and what have you, and he's, he's definitely contributed to us. Um, but we've got to this stage of the, of the trophy without him and we've, we've got other players that are, are, are in good form at the minute. So, yes, it's a bit of a blow, but what it, what it still gives me is one or two options up there of people that are more than capable of scoring goals and, and causing problems for the opponent. And just finally, as a whole, how's the squad shaping up heading into the game? Yeah, really good. I'm really pleased over the last two days training. We've had Harry Taylor back with us and he's available again tomorrow. Um, he'll certainly be in the squad. Whether we use him or not will still be a decision that I make tomorrow, but he's certainly in the squad. So really pleased to have him back in and around us because he's been absolutely outstanding this season so I'm pleased for him as well because he misses his football him and his brother have been first class for us and you know love, love playing their football so it was nice to have him back around us the last couple of days so Harry will be involved at some point tomorrow How about Efron? How's Efron getting that? Efron's making good progress as well to be fair um, the game probably comes a tiny bit too early for Efron but mm. it's good for F that he's back on the grass and he's smiling again. Um, Alfie has just done a week um, at St George's Park, which has sort of sped up his rehab. So all being well, you know, within the next week, 10 days, we'll have Alfie and Efron back around us as well. The only one that I can't put a time frame on, unfortunately, is Shaq. And I, I feel for him on the, you know, it's been setback after setback for Shaq. Um, and you can see it written all over his face and it's it's pretty sad and heartbreaking to see him keep coming in looking as sad and as down as he does but he's determined to get back and get around the boys and get back on the pitch so he gets he gets all of our support.